everybody, Mike Dukes here. I am with Karen Wolf, and I have on my lap Maxine, the beauty queen. She's a little, a little personable, if you couldn't tell. It wasn't enough to be on the ground. It wasn't enough to be sitting between us. She had to be on my lap. I think that 100% qualifies her as a lap dog. What else do we know about Maxine? She came to us as a stray, and she's really warmed up. She was real shy at first, um, a little timid, but she's definitely not today. And there's something going on with her eyesight. First, we th it's like she can only see far away, so if you call her, she'll come to you. But if you're right up against her, she doesn't quite seem to get it. So I don't know what's going on, but it doesn't seem to affect her any. We figure she's about seven years old, which is a great age for a little dog. Just down. Calm down, super friendly, and go. happy, happy girl. Came out, went potty right away, so I believe she's housebroken, and we think she is already spayed, um, ready to go home. So uh, her adoption fee is right now is 120. She, see, <laughs> she maybe has a little some. Maybe she could use contacts or glasses, a little LASIK, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> she's just adorable. And just happy as can be. She's pleasingly plump, not too fat, but a little, little less wouldn't hurt. But she's, um, she's a nice, solid girl. <laughs> and we hear a lot people saying the Humane Society never has little dogs; they always have big dogs. We have a ton of them right now. We, we, we have. They're mostly a little older, but we have quite a few little dogs right now. So. Um, a lot of seniors right now, but nice. This is a great dog, not too old. Little dogs tend to live a lot longer, and so this is a great age. If you're on the market for a smallish dog, I you owe it to yourself to come check out Maxine. A lot of, a lot of personality. <laughs> Whole lot of personality, but definitely you do need to keep in mind she has some eyesight issues. Like Karen said, far away, you wave, she can see it, she'll come running. If you're right next to her, she may bump into you. <laughs> may bump into a wall or a fence. <laughs> hey, sweetie. But she's happy as can be and flat out adorable. Come on. So you need to get down here and check out Maxine. I'm surprised she's still with us, actually. I am too, to be honest. You're perfect, aren't you? Yeah. That's another thing is someone's taking care of her. So if you've, if you've lost a dog or you know someone who's lost a dog or a cat, come here and check it out because a lot of times they're here and they don't get reclaimed and someone else gets a nice dog, but I'm sure the person who owned her is missing her. So I wish they would come and check it out. Yeah, someone's missing you, aren't they? Yeah. You know what this Saturday is? I do. <laughs> Karen does. What is this Saturday? Clear the shelter. Scary day. <laughs> Exciting day. If you weren't aware, is it the whole United States or just Indiana? It's uh, nationwide. Every shelter in the United States. Well, well not every shelter. Participating, participating shelters. Let me rephrase that. But if uh, you're a participating shelter, what that means is Saturday, fees are waived. So if you've had your eye on an animal and thought, I don't know, now would be the time. But like Karen said, it's gonna be crazy because everyone will probably be in here wanting this kitten, that cat, this dog, that dog. There's only one Maxine. Only one Maxine though. So if you're wise, you'd get in here and get here before Saturday. That's what happened last year is we had really great dogs and we did a lot of adoptions the week before prior to the <clears throat> clear the shelters, which was great. The adoption fees are still very reasonable at 120 and um, they didn't want to miss the dog that, that they were going to get. But there's someone else who maybe feels like uh, 120 is a stretch and they want to take a chance, get here early on Saturday, but come in this week and check out who we have and see who you like and then once you get here on Saturday you can go right to the kennel pull the kennel card and go up and do the adoption if you have your paperwork already done grab a adoption application from us or download one and then you're all ready to go 
And we are busting at the gills with four-legged individuals just waiting to go home with you. And, and, a couple of pigeons. Yeah. <laughs> that one shocked me. I had to actually ask, is that a pigeon? Yes. Yes, it is. So have you ever had dreams of carrier pigeons to take your letters to back and forth? I, I got nothing. I don't know. That's what they are. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this has elevated these pigeons to a whole new level of awesome. Carrier pigeons. Hmm. I'm kind of wanting to send some letters now. Hmm. So, if you're interested in carrier pigeons, we've got them. We've got kittens. Got a whole lot of kittens. We've got a whole lot of cats. We've got Maxine. We've got a lot, a lot of great dogs, a lot of great cats, animals all around just waiting for their forever homes. And in um, an effort to have as many go home same day as possible, we've had lots of animals spay and neutered already. So not every single one is, but we've got uh, a really good selection of cats, dogs, kittens that will be available to go home on Saturday with you. I'm just going to throw this out there. Should you adopt an animal on Saturday or the days preceding Saturday, and you know for a fact this particular animal does well amongst other animals, and that animal happens to like water, the 20th, the following day, this Sunday from 5 to 7, it's pooches at the pool at Kokomo Beach. You can bring your animal. I believe it's a $5 fee. Don't quote me on that. You get to go in for two hours. Your dog gets to play with other dogs in the water. They can swim. You can bring along some balls, frisbees, what have you. Every year I go and take photos and video, and every year it, you don't see an unhappy dog. It's pretty fantastic. I mean, how often, if you don't own your own pool, how often does your dog get to go swimming in a pool? Huh? Huh? So 19th, clear the shelter. 20th, pooch it at the pool. And before that, Maxine. Take a bow, Maxine. So the, the fees are waived for clear the shelter, but we will not refuse a donation. We had to have every animal spay and neutered, vaccinated, microchipped in order to participate. So if you get a, an animal fee waived, we would love a donation to help cover the cost. This is a, an expensive venture for us. This is only the second year we've done it. And um, it would be nice to have a little help. And you also, in the meantime, if you'd like to sponsor an animal, and donate anything from anything actually but thirty dollars to eighty dollars is what it costs us for a spay or neuter um you're welcome to make a donation we would appreciate that as well help someone else find a new best friend okay yeah because as much as i really hate that it's not real there are no money trees i've tried growing them in my backyard i have many unsuccessful experiments so, some dimes, nickels, but that, that's, that's about it. So yeah, we kind of need donations to make things like this happen. So anyone feeling generous, huh? Huh? I mean, maybe you're not going to adopt a dog, but maybe you want to help someone else adopt a dog. Sponsorship is something to think about. And Maxine. I like her too. And she likes my lap, apparently. Mm -hmm. So again, if you're looking for a lap dog, right? Yeah? Look no further. Maxine is the one. So come see Maxine. Don't forget, clear the shelter on the 19th. 10 to 5. 10 to 5. Pooch is at the pool. 5 to 7 at Kokomo Beach. Good luck. Hopefully you'll find a four-legged friend to take home and be a family member. And we'll see you next week. Maxine!